Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome on back to Skyblock One Block. We are here with a brand new starter house and many more blocks than just the one at this point in time. We have so many trees grown up, it is absolutely fantastic. Last episode, we got this house here finished up and it's looking great. And y'all left me some amazing tips about how I cannot get myself killed inside this world because apparently as we continue to break that, apparently evokers and gas and blazes and other scary things all spawn from this one little block right here. And we have to be very, very careful of that as we're going through this here series. Thank you all so very much for that. Please be sure to click that like button down below if you're still enjoying it. And it's time for me to get back to doing what I do best in this series and standing right here breaking that block. But the goal is to get ourselves a ring around this central area. I want to clean this up, move our trees out of here a good way, maybe mess with the animals and definitely move our farmland over. I think the farmland's gonna grow off of our starter house that we have over there. And that thing, yeah, it's a, uh, <laughs> yeah. Little ashamed of how that mob farm turned out. Maybe we'll fix that here today. But anyways, I need a lot of blocks before we can start really doing much of anything. We've got a good amount of them in here and I can get a lot more dirt that we can grow out this way. But I think what I'm gonna do just to get started here is cycle out the crops so we can get a lot more seeds. I would love to be able to do that. And I wanna figure out a way to get another water source. And the animals, since we don't need any of them right now besides the cows, I'm gonna hold off on breeding them for the next little bit because we don't need any more animals moving around if we're gonna hopefully move them into something else here soon. And back to closing the fence gate and breaking the blocks. I do love dirt. <gasps> Chest, feathers, arrows, arrows. Arrows could be nice. That I, I did put chickens over there. I was like, oh God, did I kill all my chickens? That's the only way we could get arrows. <laughs> Something tells me I'm gonna need those arrows here soon. Off the feathers, ooh, we got some clay here too. And we got some birch wood, ooh, fancy, fancy. And a zombie right above us. Hi, buddy. My loose hope is that we can get a cobblestone generator set up today because I would love to build the central ring that we do around this guy out of cobblestone because I think it could be really cool looking and it gets some stone in there. Honestly, would love some basalt and all those, but we don't really have that until the nether phase, so we're gonna ignore that one. We've got some coal in here and some more feathers. Why does it keep giving me feathers? I feel like I'm missing something at this point in time. I've been told using oak slabs is not the way to go. When the blazes and all those things get out, they'll just torch everything around here. So we're just gonna not use oak wood in the middle or not use wood in the middle. But coming over here, I think it's okay to at least use some of it towards our house. This is the least aesthetically pleasing looking platform I think I've ever made, but it's fine. Everything's fine, it's totally fine. The plan out here is we have a lot of space to be working with and we can first and foremost, we have one thing of water so we can plant a giant crop area. We could be smart about it, however, and use the one water source we have and have it flowing so we have some layered farmland. That could look pretty cool. I just need to get a lot more dirt and we do have gravel so we can at least make coarse dirt, hoe it back down to regular dirt and get a lot more for ourselves. So maybe we do a little bit of that today. Gonna be a bit of a slow process here as I've got to do this going all the way around and then hoe these guys back down. And do I have a shovel? I got a second ax. But now we have the all powerful stone shovel where eight dirt then becomes 16 dirt. Now, as we're going through and doing all this stuff right now, I did want to give you all a heads up because this series is intended to be something that is more of a short-term series lasting until the release of 1.17. So whenever 1.17 gets here is when we're gonna be starting a brand new multiplayer series that I am so extremely excited about and I really think you all are gonna be absolutely loving it. It's been something that I've been working on for quite some time now. So we're gonna try and get through all 10 stages of this here Skyblock One Block Let's Play in that time frame. So I'm thinking this will be like uh, six to eight episodes, something in that range, unless we hear anything sooner and we'll have to speed up the process. And I lost. There's a skeleton around here somewhere. I know, I, oh no, it died, it died. Hey, look, there's arrows. Ha ha, I knew I'd be totally fine here. And I don't even have enough dirt to fill it all the way in. Never mind. rounding off the corners just a touch. And I think what we're gonna be working on here, cause it would be really cool, is having that flatter section here, get some dirt where we can maybe bring the dirt up about right back in here. No! And it moves up to another layer, ignoring the falling dirt, where then we have another large platform, getting all my tools sorted here, where we can have the water up there and it'll be flowing down. I think we do three different layers. So we can have one up there, one here, and then it'll finally flow down to this section. That could be super duper cool looking. And eventually once these guys grow up a little bit more, we'll just take down all of this dirt, hopefully and be able to move it over with us. For now, it is back to the grind of breaking blocks so I can hopefully get some more dirt and a spider, two spiders. Oh gosh, 
I guess they're friendly in the daytime, so that's cool. Wait, string, string's amazing. Oh, creeper, 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 creeper. Oh God, please, no, there's so many good items up there. Don't blow, don't blow, don't blow, don't blow, don't, don't you even think about it. Okay, that was not good. That was not good. Taking a brief moment here to chop down all the trees since we have so many ready to go for us. I feel like I gotta keep the wood supply rocking and constantly growing so we can actually do some building because we are starting to rent a little low on the stuff here. There we go, trees are choppy choppy down and hopefully all these leaves, nope, I missed a block. Okay, well, I guess I gotta get back up here. And done, yes, 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 yes. I think I'm gonna take all of this dirt for now and move it over to the farming area. We're pretty good on trees right now, I think. So I might just use the puzzle that we have back here and just plant like two of each types. I did get a bit more gravel though, so we can at least get 20 more dirt out of these guys, which is pretty awesome. I really need some more spruce saplings because we're down to two of them. And that'd be really, really sad to run out of spruce wood because uh, it's kind of a favorite. It's kind of a favorite. But what I'm doing over here is just setting up two for each right now and spacing them apart. Actually, I should move these over a little bit more. Trying to make sure we at least get most of the stuff back out here, but we should be able to do something a little bit like this to create a bit of a lip for ourselves to move upwards. I need to get some stairs in here or something because right now it's gonna be a huge pain in the butt constantly moving forth. So the water source has to touch through this block here in the middle. So then we can use some way to redirect it going all the way around. And I guess we also have to send it all the way down to here too. Didn't really think about that part. Oh man, this is all gonna have to be double layered. Oh geez, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I've got an idea. I've got an idea in mind that will be, instead of double layering it, we could just follow some slabs going along the entire distance like this. We got more spruce saplings though, so everything is right. Everything is right in this world. We will not be running out of spruce wood. We do not have to end the series, so that is totally fine. Let's put these in here for safekeeping. And I need to get back on the grind to see if we can get a lot more blocks, but I'm liking the look of this so far. Oh, so much free gravel, yes! I removed the slab down below, so it's just gonna fall and always give us gravel. I realized I was getting a little bit of flint every once in a while and was getting big sad. Oh, chest, oh, that popped up out of nowhere, hello. <gasps> Mushrooms, coal, leather. I don't know what I'm doing with any of those, but we're gonna keep it. Oh, we must be getting close to being through this phase right now, because I think the benevolent gift came at the end of the very first phase. What do we got in here? An empty map, some spruce saplings, and some coal. The best gift I could ever get. Empty map though, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? <gasps> Look at how beautiful our base is. Look at how beautiful this is. We can make some map yard, do like do an outline of some stuff over there. I'm kind of liking it so far. It's looking pretty good. This is probably the worst use of leather that I could ever do, but I'm doing it anyways. Item frame. This is my map of my base and it's going in my house right there, woo. Oh my gosh, we're finally doing it everybody. We're upgraded to the next level. Let's make sure we close that for now and uh, stay very far away for 20 seconds. Winter covers the land with icy hands. Okay, we've got snow blocks, which means we can make a snow golem with some pumpkins over here. That'll be kind of fun. We got one snow, we got two snow. Oh, I need silk touch or shovels. Do I use a shovel? Is it a shovel? <gasps> it is a shovel. Haha, -ha, perfect. I'm really glad I'm breaking through all this. Oh, there was ice in there. No, why did I just break the ice? How could I turn that? I don't know how I could turn that into anything useful though. I don't think I could get ice out of here into water. Let's wait until the next ice pops up and see if there's anything we can do. Oh, it's wolf. Don't you touch my sheep. I only have one and I need it. A little ad we can have over here though that I think I'm gonna hide him behind the house is we can build a snow golem right back here and a little bit of a contraption where he can just chill and sit. Why I'm using all of my cobblestone, I don't know. And we've got eight iron to smelt down, so that's awesome. We're gonna get a bunch of iron over here. That's almost enough to be able to make that cauldron if it starts raining on us. But right over here, we've got that guy and we got a whoop. How you doing, Frosty? Can we take that off? Yes, yes, of course we can. You can't really see him, and uh, what biome are we in? He is in Plains biome. He should be able to put some snow down there. Do you need a darker spot? I love your face. Your face is adorable. I think it's about time that we move the farmland, however, so take in the water bucket very carefully all the way over here. We need to be able to get our farmland. I need slabs too. Well, don't fall in, don't fall in, don't fall in. So we wanna have this water flowing right down into here, which I will need some oak wood right back in these points just to make it a little bit easier. And then what I'm gonna do is jump down here, place the slab, and then we can come right back up, right to there. And I need to get ourselves all the way into the center. But I don't like this. We put this right here, does it? No, okay, okay, okay. I was like, where did my water go? No. 
All right, so that does take us all the way there into the center. We just need to make sure that this can flow all the way through, which I don't think it can. Let's see, that is, we put you right there, and then I block that side. Can I make it? No, no it cannot. Right here. Yes, okay, so you're staying right there. We're gonna patch in this little hole, and we're gonna send it up this way a little bit further. And now it is time to test and hope that I did this right. Yes, yes, no, sad day. Yes, yes, there we go, it's working out, awesome. So now we just need to spread a little bit more dirt around here, building up a healthy supply of dirt here so we can keep expanding the field, but I'm gonna wait on doing that there for a quick sec. I did take the berries down so I could keep using the, that amount of dirt to play with here, but eventually I'm gonna have to somehow get these things safely moved over. I'm gonna just let them super slowly grow up here for a touch and a stray. Yeah, get him Wolfie, get him Wolfie. If he drops a bone, I can tame you. Any goodies, any goodies, any goodies? Bone, 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 puppy? No, sad day. After the sadness of not taming Wolfie over there, uh, it's time to plant some carrots and potatoes. I'm thinking the bottom one down here will be all of the potatoes we could ever need. We'll just keep growing this field as much as we can. And then we'll do this side right over here with all of the carrots. And we got a chest, wait, what? Snowballs? I need snowballs, obviously. Holy cow, I definitely haven't got any of those so far. Isn't that right, Snow Golem? Oh, we got two strays this time and they both have iron helmets. Get them, Wolfies. Get them, Wolfie. Maybe we can get some more bones this time, buddy. We'll do it. Can we be best friends, please? I want to be best friends with you. Yay, best friends forever. Forever and ever. Forever and ever and ever. Oh, Wolfie, you came. No, don't, don't you fall, don't. Oh, God. Wolfie's gonna give me a heart attack. Don't be like the sheep. Please, don't be like the sheep. <gasps> You're beautiful, but you're stealing all my stuff. There's two of you. Wait, what? Hi, stay, stay, stay. You're gonna kill my chickens, aren't you? He got to the chickens. Here, have a berry. Don't you, I am gonna take you out. I'm taking you out, no. Arctic Fox, no, not the chick, no. Not the chickens, not the chickens, not the chickens. You have to get rid of him before he gets the last chicken. I need the chickens, don't you? No, no, he killed a chicken. He killed, he, no, you survived, you survived. Good job, good job. You're the survivor. Things are picking up here a lot quicker than I thought, and I think it's time that we move these chests out of the way and start doing a little bit of work here around the center, because uh, it's getting a little scary in here. I'm up to 38 cobblestone currently and actually a decent amount of andesite, so we could maybe be able to do something here. I think my crafting table's still out to that side. It is. And what my first thought is here is let's make a bunch of cobblestone slabs and just use those guys. Going to keep the fences here in the middle for sure for now since it appears to be working with keeping scary monsters up there, but gonna replace the wood that we had with some cobblestone. And then I was thinking outside of that about breaking out three blocks out this way so we can create a little bit of a ring for ourselves and we can have an outer perimeter walking area then a lower mining area right down there. So if we need to fight anything, we have this upper ring that we can run around on and be able to hit them from this level. All right, I'm really starting to like this aesthetic over here. If we had too wide and then enough andesite to put another ring on the outside, that could be looking really, really cool. Maybe eventually we'll have some villagers in here and we can use stonemasons to make that happen. Probably one of the most valuable blocks in all of Skyblock in here would be a crafting table. Where did it go? Right, two extras in here, perfect. Stone cutter and scraps. Now, how do I get back to this top point? I didn't really figure that one out. Maybe we can go make some ladders or something. Cleaning up the farmland section down here as well. I'm really trying to retrofit this area so it looks a lot nicer for ourselves. I think I might need some more stone slabs though. And there we go. It's all cleaned up down here now and looking much better. And I might be able to actually take this dirt back with me too. We don't need all of it sticking out here. Hi, Mushi. How you doing, bub? Somehow that brought me up to over 80 dirt here so we can really expand the farmland area up here. It looks like everything is starting to grow pretty well. So I think I might take a just a moment here and see what we can do up here. So we got three and four coming all the way over here for at least some tillable soil. This should be a big enough spot for some sort of a wheat field in here. And I think it actually looks pretty nice as well too. So that will be super awesome because we got four blocks coming all the way over here. And then this point, we actually need to have something coming up here too, but I might get rid of that, please. No, we saved it. We did it, we saved it. Got the whole upper section in here now too, and I think it's gonna be absolutely perfect. Let's hopefully be able to hoe all of this stuff down before the hoe breaks and night gets here, because otherwise this could turn into a very, very scary platform. 
Did not make it, but we've got torches, so we can at least light those sections up, and it should be good. It's looking so good, though. Oh, I'm so happy. Can you make snow? Look at that little face. Since we used all the cobblestone, guess who's making an iron hoe before he makes any other iron tools? This guy. I've decided since we're doing the carrots and the potatoes down here, they don't have too much space to be working with, and I think I'm gonna do an entire separate location for the pumpkins and melons, maybe even bringing it down that way could be kind of cool. So I think what I'm going to do is this will also be carrots and potatoes up here, and then this top section itself is going to be wheat for the entire area. This feels like something I should have definitely been doing as like the first thing, you know, inside of a skyblock world, but we're okay, we're doing it now and it's fun. That's all tilled soil and everything's good up here and it's all hydrated, that's awesome. So we gotta wait for these guys to grow, gotta wait for everything else to move, and now it's time to go back to the breaky breaky. And a chest already, wow, that was quick. <gasps> Dark oak sapling, wait, we need, we need four of those. Hi, what are you doing? You don't, don't come up here, stay down there. We have more foxes, take them out, take them out before they kill a the chicken. Don't kill my chicken, don't you dare kill my chicken. I did have a bit of an idea here, however though, folks, is it is time for us to make, right, like a so, like that, and I actually am gonna need a second one. But I don't think we have enough iron to be able to make a hopper minecart, which is really what I need, and I need some rails. We're getting closer. I'm trying to make an auto looting system for everything on top, so there's no risk of at all losing things. Do we have any more iron to smelt? We have one more. That'll bring us up to four, not quite as much as we need. All right, this plan's on hold for a sec. I am now realizing that I have the iron nugget in here, which would bring us up to five in total, you know, if that was actually a, um, a full block of iron or an ingot instead of um, a lantern. But you know, that's fine. We made the decision earlier and I like lamp. I like lantern. Another little chest up here with nothing. This chest had nothing. <gasps> no, it came down in the hopper. Oh, it had snowballs and bones. Not, not exciting. Not, not exciting, but not exciting, you know? Oh God, it's a polar bear. Hi, are we friendly right now? Yes, yes we are. You don't really do anything, do you? You're adorable, very adorable. Very adorable? Very adorable. But I don't know what to do with you. I'm gonna cut this out of the video. Oh my gosh, where did the polar bear go? Wow, so sad. Hey, look at all this iron though. Wait, that's enough iron to be able to get what we needed. I was just thinking we did update the farming area a lot, so what's our map look like now? Ooh, wait, I'm loving that. We can even see the snowman that doesn't do anything for us. Hmm. We got ourselves a minecart over here, and now I need to somehow get a rail. So I guess I do need four more iron to do that. Is this worth all the time I'm putting into it just to get an auto collection system in here? I don't know, it could save our butts later, but I don't think it probably will. So what we need is a minecart with a hopper, and I believe we have to place this onto a rail. Yes, 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 we need a rail. Big bummer. Come here, Mushi, I need you. Thank you. Now I've been thinking, we do have the wood to be able to do it. We've got almost two stacks of oak logs, which is pretty great here. So I'm thinking we take all of these and take all of these and take all of these and we fix up that, that thing over there. Yeah, it's gonna look even worse right now. Just bear with me for a moment here. This is gonna look even worse because I wanna tear down the entire thing that we have so far Beside, do we want to move it back further? I feel like I should move it farther away. No, no, we're just gonna leave it right here. We're just gonna fix up everything above it. The goal here is to bring ourselves up a bunch of blocks into the sky, create a little bit of a dark room up there, and I'll probably need to find some trap doors somehow that we can make it so that the mobs will actually walk back and like fall here into the center, because that's gonna help us a lot. I know the ideal goal would be going up like what, 24 blocks or something like that so that they actually take falling damage enough to kill themselves or at least be close to killing themselves when they're hitting the ground so that you can like one shot them. But I think we're just gonna go up like 10 blocks or so so they take some fall damage, but it won't be like enough to just be like, all right, well, they're dead. Also big thing I didn't think about is uh, how do I get down afterwards? That's That's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Now that we're this high up though, I should probably start doing some solid blocks so that the light can't travel upwards. And I think if we go up to about this height, cause that is 10 blocks above that point down there. And there we go, I've got the full standing platform in now and I'm down to just a stack of oak planks, unfortunately. 
So I think I might be cutting the corners here just a touch by uh, literally taking off the corners. And I did not want to lose that block, but we lost it anyways, and I saved that one. This is gonna be burned down by a blaze so fast, but that's all the blocks that I got, and I refuse to make it mismatching wood, so let me go get a little bit more oak. I think I can land this. Yeah, oh yeah, the mobs will be fine up here. Well, they won't die at all. You know what, what could be easiest in the end is if we just slowly get another bucket of water and work ourselves down here and just drop the platform down instead of trying to move that up. That could be really good. Look at me being a professional sky blocker over here, slabifying everything, making sure it's mob proof and all that cool stuff. The night's coming right now, but you know what? This professional is gonna be surviving. I don't know if they need more than two blocks of space. I'm really hoping they don't. This professional again did not bring enough slabs. Woo! I am two slabs short and I'm ashamed to be using my scaffolding here as ability to get more oak slabs. It'll take a minute I'm sure, but there is the ability for mobs to spawn up there now. And it's completely dark so they should, I almost looked at the enderman, I did look at the enderman. Oh no, oh no, you stay. Can we just hit you into the void? Oh, he's nice now. Aha, I'll hit you again. He's really, he's just about to teleport behind me. He's like, I'm friendly, I swear. Into the void with you. But look at that, look at that, it's working. Oh, we have creepers and skeletons. Oh, I'm so good, I love this. Quick stop, Imushi. And it's time to see if this will work or if the creeper is going to be able to see us. I don't think they will, oh God, yeah, they can see me. Maybe, maybe they can see me. No, it looks like we're okay, looks like we're okay. I hear a lot of mobs up there though. I, oh, I should have spider proofed it. That's what I should have done with more slabs. We can spider proof that easily. What else I need to do is flip proof this pathway so I don't fall into the void because I was just walked off the side. <gasps> oh my gosh, it was one bone. One bone, come on down, Wolfie. Come to me, come to me, my friend. Sit right here, right here, you gotta sit. I'm not putting you there because I will knock you into the void. Come on, this way. You can stay in the house. Look at you being a good house dog. The best boy. Now this because I have to, what's the update over here? We got a box, we got a box. With rounded corners, but we got a box. Holy cow, there's a lot of mobs over there. I just saw a third wolf spawn and I just checked that thing out and we gotta go deal with that here in a sec. I might make an iron axe. Nope, nope, we can't do an iron axe yet. We are waiting until we can get the stupid rails to set up the stupid hopper minecart I already invested nine iron into. I am so dumb. There's been an iron ore sitting in here the entire time which is the last one we need. Wolfie three, be my friend, please. Yes, we have Wolfie three. Come on over Wolfie three, you can hang out by the farmland. Yeah, you wanna be in the potato field? You can be in the potato field. It's time everybody, it is time to waste all of our iron and hope that this works out because we got a bunch of rails now. All we gotta do is that and we do this and let us test. Does this work, was it worthwhile? <gasps> Dirt, the dirt's down there. Oh, I don't have to jump up in this middle point anymore. That's great. That is big value. Maybe all the iron was worth it. I don't know. That's a lot of mobs. Oh, wow, that's a, that's, yeah. Let's see if we can get them all from back here and hopefully they don't. I'm really hoping these creepers can't see me. That is a very important thing is that the creepers cannot see me. There's even baby zombies. I'm so glad I did a slab height instead of a full block. If I just had a cobblestone generator, I feel like I'd be playing normal sky block now. No, 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 I just wanted to loot. I just wanted to loot. There was a carrot, I wanted a carrot. I already have carrots, but I saw a carrot and I needed it. That is very good to know that if I get too close, they can in fact see me through these. So that we'll have to keep in mind. I think they can see me through the corner too. So that's uh, avoid the corners, avoid the corners. Last creeper is out of here now so we can get a little closer and start the looting process. Not really sure what we're gonna be using all of this gunpowder stuff for, but it is kind of nice to just have it on hand, you know? That is a lot of junk in there. We've got 11 bones, 10 arrows, 13 gunpowder, and 11 rotten flesh. Ooh, that's good. And do not worry, the carrot is being planted down. It was worth it, go right there. And we got some more carrots, look at that. Our potato production right now is going through the roof, everybody. The only roof that we have, we only have one of them. But it's working out really well for ourselves so far. The wheat has started growing up here too. I need to get some wood lining the rest of these so I don't actually fall off the sides of them. But it's looking super cool down there. We even have some bonus ones that I'll just fill in the line right there. I wanna make sure I save this for carrots since we're very limited on the total size of carrot pasture we have. But back to block breaking for me for now because we've got a lot of stuff going for us and I don't know what else to do. Beware, monster party. I'm being, I'm being where, 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 I'm being where. They broke my blocks. They broke my blocks. You can't break my blocks, that's not fair. Bow, arrows, where's my other arrows? Where's my other arrows? 
I left them in the other chest, didn't I? I'm blind. They're just right here. Getting rid of them. Getting rid of them. No, don't, don't, don't you, don't you, don't. Please, why do you guys gotta break my blocks in the middle? Not my farmland. Oh yeah, get him, get him. Oh, I knew the snowman was worth it. The snowman was so worth it. Nailed it. So this is very important to know that uh, whatever my blocks are up there, they're just gonna be like, yeah, no, we don't care. We just, we just don't care. Even the cobblestone got broken. Okay, is that everybody? Are there anybody else out here? It looks like I do get the items back though, which is nice. So we need to make the circle just a touch larger since it seems like they're really just sitting in these central points. So if we bring it out that little bit more right there and then a little bit more right there and just make this central platform a bit bigger, that could work out. I'm curious, can I harvest the block from right here? I can, can I do it while this is on there? I can do it from right here, that works. I think this is my new harvesting spot. Oh God, I no, I don't like this harvesting spot. You guys can just shoot at me from right here. Well, they're dealt with, that's nice. Stew please, stew please, stew. And we've got a chest that should be getting emptied all the way down to the bottom with, oh, another dark oak sapling for us up. That's pretty big value. I like that, I like that, I like where this is going. Since I don't need to be on top to loot all the things, I've just resorted to coming down here and staying down here. See, cause they just keep doing that, the stupid strays. I swear if you guys hurt Mushi, it's all over for you. Stew please, stew please. And with that, we now have Doggo number four up here. They just spawned it on top of that nice little blocky there. And I've got a bunch more blocks down here, which we did manage to find some ice inside of a chest. So that is absolutely massive. And now I got to make sure I do this correctly. I think I got to sleep first. That's staying in there so I don't lose it. Setting ourselves up with a little bit of a well action going on right over next to the farming area is probably a good idea for now with all of this brand new ice that we have. So bring in some cobblestone right out here. Actually, some oak wood first. Creating a small platform for ourselves to stand on first and foremost. And I think right in here, we can do a little bit of cobblestone and that should have probably went down a block, but it'll be fine. We'll figure it out from there. Just so there's no chance of losing anything down underneath us, we should probably raise this up right here. And then if we grab the ice and the ice, and I believe if I just do like that, we got some water and we got some water and now we have infinite water. Amazing. Oh, I love it. Doggo number three, we can expand our farmland so much. Oh, we're so close to even getting a cobblestone generator. It's gonna be amazing. And last but certainly not least is we need to throw some torch action right over here so we're not getting any hostile mob spawns, but that is absolutely awesome. And my friends, I think that is a fantastic point to leave this for today for episode number two. We got four doggos. We've got our farming area set up. We've got this mob spawner, which uh, is really working. It is really working over there. There's a lot of those dudes. And uh, next time I think we got to tackle the animals and move them out farther and clean this ring up a little bit better. So it uh, feels a little nicer and more completed in here. And I would love to have this connecting down into there too. We're gonna have to do a lot of height variation stuff, but that's gonna be something that we'll tackle uh, when we have some more blocks to be working with. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please be sure to click that like button down below if you did enjoy today's episode of Skyblock One Block. My friends, thank you all so very much for the support. Subscribe if you're brand new. And with that, I will catch you on the flip side.